All right, so I have a piece of cardstock. It's a piece of paper, but it's kind of a stronger than usual piece of paper. But I want to see how many pieces of paper can this piece of paper hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper in half. And I'm going to see there we go. if I can support Oops. the weight of on. one book on this one piece of paper. Okay. Jesus. So I have one piece of paper and I'm going to put on one book. Do you think it's going to hold it? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, well, what do you think? Um, it's going to go flip. <laughs> oh no, so if I fold like a paper, pancake. <laughs> I folded the paper that way, it didn't work. But what if I fold the paper this way? Do you think that might support one book? Yeah, I think, what do you think, guys? You can put your hand, your thumbs up. Put your thumbs up if you think it will. Almost. Oh. It just doesn't quite hold it. So oh. I'm going to have to do some more experiments. I wonder if I folded it this way. So it's a two layers. Oh. And now that it's two layers, I'm going to fold it into a book shape again. Now I wonder if my book shape of one piece of paper will hold this whole book. Let's see. What do you think, guys? And it's still a little wibbly wobbly. Oh, but, but it holds it. That one piece of paper is holding a bunch of pieces of paper in my book. So it was stronger just because of the way I folded it. So I can fold it again. I'm gonna fold this side in. And I've got two layers and I'm also folding different shapes. So I folded it that way. And then I'm gonna kind of make this square into a triangle. So I'm gonna tuck these two edges inside of each other, okay? So I've got different layers because I folded it and I folded it into a triangle shape and I tucked one inside of another. So this should be a lot stronger. So I'm pretty certain I can put that book on there. Oh my. And I'm gonna put Very Hungry Caterpillar on there. And I'm gonna put Dear Zoo on there. <laughs> and the Roly Poly Puppies. Oh goodness, guys, this is one piece of paper and it's now holding four books worth of paper. And I'm gonna put love you forever there. <laughs> Dinosaur roar. Dinosaur roar. duck. Oh! <laughs> Bad luck to knock <laughs> down my tower. So with a triangle, so it was layered and it was folded this way, it held a lot more. I'm gonna try another experiment. This time I'm gonna add fasteners, okay? Mm. So I'm gonna make my layers. Actually, I'm gonna use that same piece of paper, I think. So I'm going to take this. Hold on. This, Wait a minute, this time, uh, Teacher Janelle. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You, you, your picture uh, went, but it's back. Yeah, I think it's funny. My battery's get low. Uh oh. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add fasteners. So I'm going to take a stapler and staple those edges so they can't come apart. Right. I think that will hold more weight because that it won't open up. So we're going to stack those all those books that we just had back up again. Oh, and I gotta make oh, sure it stays centered. So just because I added two staplers, I added those faster now. Now it's holding all those books that it couldn't hold earlier. And now I can add barnyard dance. And then I can add oh my gosh. the foot book. <laughs> and then I can add, oh goodness, my brown bear is really big. So you think it'll hold brown bear, brown bear? What do you see? Oh. Yep. Look at all those pieces of paper that are balanced on one piece of paper just by folding it in just the right way. And I can add roly poly Oli to the top of that. Oh no! Oh. Roly poly took it out. <laughs> you guys can see what happened, right? Roly poly Oli was so heavy that it crumpled. It yeah. My structure. It was just too much for it to hold. All right, I'm gonna try one more shape because I know that round columns are an especially strong shape. So I'm going to fold a round column. I'm going to fold this in half. I fold my piece of the paper in half. That again, the layers makes it stronger, right? And then I'm going to roll it up into a column. And we learned that stapling it also makes it stronger, right? So we're going to add some fasteners. I'm going to staple it.
And I'm also gonna add a little bit of tape because my edges are gapping a little bit. So I'm gonna add some tape here. So I have layers and tape and I folded it to get a good shape. And I've added fasteners. And now I'm making sure that I've got a nice round shape that's as sturdy as it can be before I start stacking books on it, okay? And this time we're gonna start with a super heavy book. You ready? Oh, oh my goodness. See this? Yeah. We've got the DK Ultimate Visual Dictionary. Do you think that one column will be able to support my book Visual Dictionary? I'm not sure about that. I mean, I have to say, how many pages is the Visual Dictionary? You guys have to know this Visual Dictionary is 869 pages. Oh my gosh. Do you think? I might be pushing too hard. We'll see. Uh, that one oh piece of paper goodness. is holding 869 pieces of paper. And now that I got my 869 pieces of paper, I'm going to put my brown bear, brown bear on there. And I'm going to add the foot book. And I'm going to add dear zoo and oh dear. And the very hungry caterpillar. And, oh goodness. Earlier we had dinosaur roar and farmer duck and love you forever and really poly puppies. We'll put those all on there. All of them, oh my gosh. And then we're gonna find our roly poly oly. And then we're gonna find the barnyard dance. Look at that, you guys. I've got like easily a thousand pieces of paper balanced on that one piece of paper. And it can hold them all because it has fasteners and layers and it's shaped just the right way. Let's see, I'm looking for just the right book to put next. I'm gonna put owl bait, no, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do a nice big one. So this one is a children's book treasury. So it's got like about 300 pages. So I'm gonna try that one. <laughs> I recognize that. That's 300, another 300 pages. Okay, now I'm gonna read the other part of the children's treasury. So it's another 300 pages. Ah! So I want you guys to just like, look, that remember we still just got like our one column down there that's holding all of these books. So I'm gonna be like, you know, totally brave. I'm gonna throw the children's dictionary on top but I'm pretty sure uh, this is gonna take it out. So children's dictionary goes on top and I can't believe that didn't destroy it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. All of that is balanced on one piece of paper. So I'm gonna pull out Cryptonomicon because I'm out of children's books here. So we're gonna put on Cryptonomicon here. <laughs> and then we're gonna put on Quicksilver. Anything, whoa! No! Yes, we'll take it out. <laughs> All right, so there you go. You guys just saw <laughs> that we can make a super song structure by knowing about what are strong shapes and how to add fasteners and how to add um, just like layers and stuff to make everything stronger.